Hello everyone and welcome back to One Arm Robber. Today I'm going to show you how to loot the jewelry store heist with only using a lockpick. This is like an updated and remastered version of my very first video of One Arm Robber. And since this is an updated remastered version, I'm going to be using the basic lockpick. So without further ado, let's get this one started. To start this heist, you want to grab a duffel bag and our basic lockpick and we're going to head to the front of the jewelry store. Now once we enter the jewelry store, we're going to take a immediate right and head through these next two doors and take a left take out our lockpick and unlock this first door. Now, after unlocking this door, we're gonna head upstairs, close this door, and unlock this door at the top of the staircase. After unlocking this door, take your lockpick, unlock this door to the left. Now, we're not gonna go through this door just yet, we just wanna unlock it. After doing so, we're gonna place our lockpick right to the left side of the door for later use. Next, go over to the break room, get the utility key card, head back downstairs, and hang a right this time. Hide underneath the camera and wait for it to turn. Once it turns, go over to the utility room and turn off the alarm. Next, go back underneath the camera and wait for it to turn yet again. Once it does, we're gonna head back out here, close this door. Now this is where it gets a little bit different. We're gonna charge right through this door, which is gonna generate noise that the guard outside the manager's office will come down to investigate. So we'll charge right through it, hide underneath the stairs by crouching and we're gonna wait for that guard to come down to investigate and sneak right behind him. Once he does, head upstairs, open up this door, grab the lockpick, unlock the door to the manager's office as fast as you can. Once you unlock it, hide behind the store and wait for that guard to come back and we're gonna sneak right behind him, take immediate right, and close the door. Now we're done with the lockpick for right now, we're gonna head back downstairs and place this in our duffel bag. Yet again, we're gonna close this door, and we're gonna do the same tactic, sprint through the door, head back upstairs and grab the vault key card. Like I said before, hide underneath the stairs by crouching, wait for him to pass, go right behind him, head upstairs, go through this door, open up this door, grab the vault key card. This time we can hide in the break room and wait for the guard to pass. And once he does, sneak in right behind him, close the door, Take the vault key card and head downstairs. The next step, we take our vault key card. We're gonna take immediate right past this camera and we're gonna go to the vault door and unlock it. If we get caught by the camera, all we're gonna do is hide behind this door and wait for the guard to come in and pass by. Sneak in right behind him, go out here and wait for that guard to come back through. Once he does, we're gonna sneak in right behind him, grab our duffel bag with our lock pick Go underneath this camera, hang a right. Now this time we're gonna get caught outside the vault area. So the guard will only come halfway through. And when we get inside the vault area, we're gonna hang a right and wait for the guard to move. So get caught. The guard's gonna come to investigate. We're gonna go inside the vault area and hang a right and we're gonna wait for that guard to leave. So pretty much once the question mark disappears, we know that he left. Next, we're gonna take our lock pick, inch forward ever so slowly and unlock the vault door. Once we unlock it, we're done with the lock pick, open up the door take our bag, take immediate right, and we're gonna close this door right behind us. Now we're in the vault area, and we can just loot it to our heart's content. Now the only area you still have to worry about is the front door, because you can still get caught by the camera outside the vault area. Now when you're ready to leave the vault area, this is what you're gonna do. We're gonna come out here, get caught by the camera, and hide by the door, and wait for that guard to come in, and we'll sneak in right behind him. Then we can just go out the front door, and head back to the truck and grab another bag or we can finish the heist. Now, if you're going back for more loot in the vault area, a couple things to remember. Don't forget the gold watch that's on the table right outside the vault area. And also do the same method as before. Get caught outside the vault area, go inside the vault and hang a right and wait for that guard to leave. Now, if you wanna get the money inside the manager's office, leave a duffel bag outside this door yet again. And we're gonna do the same thing that we did when we had to unlock the manager's office. Simply run through this door, Hide underneath the stairs and wait for the guard to pass again. Going right behind him, head upstairs, grab our duffel bag, head into the manager's office, grab the money real quick and place it into a duffel bag. If you're quick enough, you can go into the break room. If not, you just wait for the guard to pass, go right behind him, take immediate right, head down the stairs. Now this is how you loot the jewelry store heist stealthily with only using the basic lock pick. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to help the channel grow. If you want to see a funny video, click the video on the left. If you want to see more tutorial videos, click the video on the right. And like always, I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next video.